Aiden from Premier Planet, Justin Barlow back with you again. And I'm here tonight to tell you about PPW 53. But before I do that, I want to invite you all out to our next event, Saturday night, May the 30th, PPW 54. Here in Woodstock, Illinois, inside the Premier Studio, doors open at 7 p.m., bell time at 7.30. Now for tonight's results, first match, we had a tag team match, the world exclusive Matt Vine and Texas Sneaky Pete against Irish Andy Anderson and Scott Colton. Of course, Matt Vine and Texas Pete, obviously it was expected going into this match that they might try a couple of things that were a little underhanded, and no doubt they did. However, Andy Anderson and Scott Colton had them both scouted, and it was Andy Anderson and Scott Colton who walked away with the victory in that one, so congratulations to both of them. Our next match of the evening, we saw uh, up-and-comer Max Cruz, who's been with PPW for a couple of months now, right out of the Premier Academy, take on veteran Outlaw Jay Cross. Outlaw Jay Cross, Despite Max Cruz's best efforts, Outlaw Jay Cross was just a little bit too much for the new guy. Outlaw, the Outlaw getting the victory in that match, but after the, afterward, Max Cruz was on his way back to the dressing room. Outlaw Jay uh, waved him back into the ring, had him come back into the ring, raised his hand like a professional, a good show of sportsmanship, handshaking. So we look forward to seeing a lot more Max Cruz in the future. The fans really seem to enjoy this match here tonight. Up next, we have the world exclusive Matt Vine appearing for the second time tonight, taking on uh, Inestra, PPW newcomer, in his second professional match ever. Matt Vine, of course, being Matt Vine, thought this was going to be so easy. Veteran of about three years in the business, taking on a kid who's having his second match only ever. Inestra, full of surprises. He had Matt Vine wide-eyed at certain points. He had him on the mat, in headlocks, off the, off the ropes. Matt Vine just had no idea what to do at certain points. And then, Matt, that, that then the veteran instinct kicked in, and Matt Vine was able to cinch in that swinging net breaker. He gets the win over Inestra, but the fans on their feet for the newcomer. We're going to be seeing a lot more of Inestra in the future. After that, we had a triple threat match between Elite EJ Jensen, Chase Gosling, and the Corn Fig Colossus, one half of the tag team champions, Michael Mack. Early on, Chase uh, decided to uh, make a proposal to Michael Mack that they work together to get Elite EJ Jensen out of the match. And after that happened, well, the two of them went back and forth because both of them wanted to win. In fact, when EJ was in the match, we saw both of them go for pinfalls and the other guy pulling the other guy off because every single one of these guys wanted to win this triple threat. Nothing really on the line other than bragging rights, but here in PPW, bragging rights mean a whole heck of a lot. And it was Chase Gosling, finally your winner in that match. And then in our main event, we had the World Heavyweight Championship defended. Malad Akbar defending the belt against Alex Bernardino, the man he won over in the Armageddon Gauntlet, and the number one contender going into the Armageddon Gauntlet, finally getting his one-on-one -on -one match with the champion. Bernardino took Malad to the limit, and it looked like so many times we were going to have a new champ. But then who comes out? Appearing for the third time, Matt Vine, Bernardino's former uh, roommate, tag team partner, they were really close at one point and now just the hate is boiling over between these two. Matt Vine gets involved, Bernardino saw it coming, threw, Matt, threw Vine out of the ring, Vine tries to get back in. Bernardino kind of went uh, Ralphie from a Christmas story on Vine, just started wailing on him. So the referee, Jake Daniels, could not keep control. He had to call for the bell, disqualifying Alex Bernardino, awarding the victory to Malad Akbar. But Bernardino wasn't done. He grabbed the mic and he issued a challenge saying that if Matt Vine wanted so badly to get involved in his business, he was going to let him. And he issued the challenge for Bernardino, Vine, and Akbar at our next event on May 30th, to which the premier CEO approved, and we have our main event for next time. Again, that's going to be Alex Bernardino, Matt Vine, and Malad Akbar for the PPW World Heavyweight Championship. Again, that date, Saturday night, May the 30th. Doors open at 7, bell time is 7.30. Bring your family, bring your friends. We'll see you there.